My name is Cedric Smith, um, Pastor Cedric Smith, formerly known as Cedio. Around about the time when I was 17, 18 years old, um, I got into the street life, um, selling drugs. And started off small though, doing pickups here and there, uh, making a few runs, a few drop-offs and everything. But over time, I grew in the hustle. I grew in the game. I grew in the, in the lifestyle. Um, and, and, and it went on for almost 15 years um, that I was living this lifestyle to becoming one of the city's known suppliers for, for, for illegal narcotics. Um, in which I wound up doing a substantial amount of time, you know, for it. But uh, after a few stenches in and out of prison, you know, um, you start understanding that there's got to be more to life than just this. It's got to be more to life than just uh, selling drugs. It's got to be more to life than just partying. It's got to be more to it than having a nice car. You know, because a person can have all of these things. You can have money, you can have nice cars, you can live in a nice home, but you're not even happy. That was my reflection is I've given this ample up time in my life. I've given up this much of my life, but yet and still look at where I'm at. Look at where I wound up. You know, I'm boxed in like an animal, I'm caged up, you know, and I'm no animal. And I value my freedom. I would rather have my freedom than that lifestyle because that lifestyle only leads to death and destruction. I've been out since 2005. When I was released from prison, the only thing I kept telling myself is that I'm not going back. So today, I work hard to maintain my freedom. I work hard to maintain my, my family. I work hard to, to maintain uh, this new life that God has blessed me with. There was definitely a divine intervention in my life. As far as I've come, it wasn't on my own. That was me acknowledging that I didn't do any of this. God did this for me. He made my way straight. When everything smoothed itself out, when he smoothed everything out, the only thing left for me to do was go back to church, go back to praising God, go back to acknowledging God. You know? and, and me becoming a pastor is my calling. He wants us to change according to his word. Yes. Everybody makes mistakes. There, there's no perfect person on this planet. At some point in their lives, everybody's done something that they're not proud of. But you don't have to be stuck there. Whatever it is that you're not proud of, it doesn't have to define you as a person either. You can move forward. You can move beyond that. You can excel and continue to prosper and grow and mature in who you really are. See, I may not have all the money, all the flashy jewelry, and all this glamour and glitz that came with the street life, but I got joy today.